Hello out there. Um, in this video, we're going to see how to create a tab view or tab panel in JavaFX in a proper way. So let me just start out by running my application here just to see what we are getting at. And there we go. So I have two tabs. This is a super simple example. You can see that there are different contents. And the idea of this video is to define the tab view in one fxml file and then define the tab pane content here in separate F fxml files so that we can um, maintain our uh, mvvm structure and each of these tab panes here the content can then have their own view model so we can still keep everything nicely separated instead of having one view defined with a bunch of tasks and that uh, view model would then have to handle everything in all the ta tasks and that would uh, quickly become way too cluttered. So this is what we are aiming at. Um, <coughs> let me show you here what we have. I have here the two, um, uh, what do you call them, the tab pane content. Uh, let me just open that in uh, in the scene builder. There we go. So I had defined my very simple content here. I just have three labels. And similarly, I have the other tab um, defined, which had a button that doesn't really do anything and also a label. And let's see if that opens up. that came here right so a button that does nothing and a label the behaviors here is not really important the interesting part is how do we just close this again how do we make a tab pane that uh, loads the fxml uh, from other files here so here's how we do it i have my tab view which will open shortly. There we go. Okay, my tab view. Mm, it actually contains the two. That's interesting. So it knows about that. So initially I just created the tab pane and um, I have my two tabs and that's basically it. Now if I write tab here, in my scene builder, apparently for some reason I cannot just draw this and add a new tab and I haven't really figured out how to uh, add multiple tabs from over here. So I had to, well, the scene builder program would crash whenever I had tried to drag a new tab either down here or over here. So what I had to do was to go to uh, IntelliJ and then open the fxml file here and then actually um, add multiple tabs, edit the fxml file directly so this is what we have to do if i just create a blank um, tab pane then uh, this part here will not be present so i have to put this in myself i have my two other fxml files the one with the button and the label and the one with three labels and these are the two that i want to load into the tab so they become the content of each of these uh, tab panes and i do this um, just like this. I have the FX include. I give it here an ID. This is um, uh, to be able to load the controller. So for each FXML file, there's a controller. Sometimes we have called these the view. JavaFX call them the controller, just like you can see whenever I define a FXML file, I can define the controller class like this. So for my tab, there's a controller class that initially uh, I don't do anything in this one. It's not very interesting. I have another example later on. So I have my tab view. I want to include the content of one FXML file and the content of another FXML file. And I do this. So I have the FX include. I give it an ID here. This is the name of the controller. So the controller that must be loaded will be named tab one. 
and then automatically if uh, JavaFX when this everything is loaded it will append controller so the real name must it will end up being like this but I just give it the ID without the controller and then it will find the class named tab one controller which is over here and and load that as the uh, controller I also have a source this is where I find the fxml file so this is uh, relative to where my where, where this xml file is loaded uh, is, is located then I indicate where the fxml file I want to include is located so I have to go into the tab1 folder and find the tab1.fxml file tab1 folder tab1 fxml file same thing for the other one I use the include tag here I say the ID of the controller for this fxml file must be named tab2 controller so I have that class over here tab2 controller you'll see in my simple example it doesn't do anything because it's not really relevant for this example and then again I specify where is the file that I want to include and as you could see then my uh, scene builder program was actually able to to understand this fxml and and load the two other fxml files in so that I can I can see the content in here so the important part is you want the name here tab2 to be identical to the controller you want to load tab2 controller and then let's take a look at the tab view controller so my tab view specifies a controller here this controller and in here I have a reference to the tab pane itself I have reference to the tab uh, the separate tabs this tab and this tab you can see that I have uh, added the FX ID here tab 1 called tab 1 tab 2 is called tab 2 I don't really use it for anything in my example it's just that, that maybe it's interesting to reference the two tabs and here you will see that I have the controllers so the controller that is loaded for the two other included fxml files will be injected into these two so you will see that tab2 controller matches the tab2 and then because controller is automatically appended I have to call this controller here and then in my init method I can then initialize the two controllers so uh, that's how we set it up there's not much to it I just have to create a tab I have to include these two and that's basically it so I guess that you can use the include here in multiple ways if you don't have a, a tab pane but some other pane I don't know what you could otherwise have maybe some kind of uh, grid pane and, and in each grid box you want to load some fxml file then you could use the include tag um, so it just means that we are able to define different parts of our GUI in different fxml files so use the include keyword if you want a controller for that which you usually do then use the fx id here and name your class controller uh, maybe that's not actually necessary but it's just necessary that you match the uh, variable name here so tab1 will become tab1 controller I don't know you can play around with that and then the source uh, where you have to load the the included fxml relative to 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 the path of this xml file okay so this was a super simple example the I have a slightly more interesting example which uses the model view view model structure so it is a um, suggestion on how to do that let me just find this one just so you can see what I have done I initially had this program here um, great okay so we are back on I had some uh, mistakes in my program because I refactored too aggressively earlier so 
I had renamed some stuff. But this is uh, the program that I took as a starting point. You'll see that I have three uh, views, stages actually, and uh, occasionally the data is automatically updated by some uh, thread running in the background. So I took this program and I copied the code and I turned it into a um, an example where I had the three uh, views in uh, what now? Okay, so um, another mistake due to aggressive refactoring, but this is what we have. I have the same three uh, charts. Once in a while, the data will get updated. Let's see how that happens, right? And I can also update stuff myself. Save, pie chart will show that. So I can swap around. And I just took the previous program and modified it a bit. So I still have, as you can see over here, I have my bar chart, which is defined in an FXML file. There's a bar chart, axis and stuff. I have the pie chart, which is defined in a separate FXML file. Here's my pie chart. And I have my text chart, which is also defined in a separate FXML file. No idea why I have all these. They're probably not necessary, but they're empty, so never mind. Um, so this is the interesting stuff. Oh. Okay, so I have the three charts defined in their uh, own FXML file, and I wanted to create a tab pane. I have that here and include them. So I've done the same thing. I have created a simple uh, tab pane. Here we go. I have created tabs. I have one, two, three tabs. This one I call the pie chart and here bar chart and the text chart. And again, I use the include tag here for each of them. I say for the pie chart tab pane, the content should be loaded from this one, this FXML file. And you will see here again relative. So I am standing from this FXML file here. I have to go uh, one level up in my folder hierarchy means up to the view then I go into the pie chart down here and then I find the pie chart view fxml this one so that's what we want to load and again I want the controller for this fxml fxml file this one here I want to load that and have a reference to it so that I can initialize it and I do that by having this fx id I call it pie chart view and then automatically as I said before the uh, JavaFX framework framework will, will put or well, append controller here. So the uh, variable name should be pie chart view controller. So let's look at the uh, tab view controller. So this uh, tab view here is loaded together with uh, this controller here. So we have that here and you will see that I have the three controllers for the other views, the bar chart view controller, the pie chart view controller and the text view controller. And these are automatically injected because of the ID here, right? So I get a reference to it. So whenever I initialize my um, tab view controller, I give it here the view model provider. This class provides the view models. So for the bar view, bar chart view controller, I initialize it by giving it the bar chart view model. The same thing for the pie chart view controller, I initialize that with the pie chart view model and the text view controller, I initialize that with the text view model. Um, so that's probably it. All that is to it. Um, in the view handler, the class that is responsible for managing, creating, opening views. I have my constructor. Maybe we go all the way back here. So in my start method, I create a data model. I create the view model provider. I create the view handler and I give the view model provider to my view handler and then I call start. So in my view handler, I have the uh, view model provider. Um, 
maybe I should rename this. I'll do like this. BMP. It was a name left over from a previous example. All right. Then in it, it's created. We call the start, and in the start, I just want to open the tab pane. So we do the usual stuff. I have an FXML loader. I load. Uh, well, I set the location of the loader. I set what I say here. What FXML file is it that I want to load? I want to load the tab view again relative to where this class is. So my view handler is here, and I want to say go to the tab view folder. That's here, and I say go to the tab view FXML file. That's here. So this is the one that I load. We do that here. I get the controller, the class here, the one that is defined inside the FXML, right? I define the controller up here, so this is the class, this one here. I get that out in the view handler. We go back here. So I get the controller. I call initialize it or init to initialize this controller. I give it the view model provider. So we say here tab view controller so that I can get the relevant view models for my uh, tab pane content whatever you want to call it All right so I initialize the tab pane um, which will initialize each of the tabs in turn I create my scene I set the title of the stage I give the scene to the stage and then I say to the stage that it should show and then that's basically it so um, I have the initial program here, which looks mostly the same. The view model, uh, the, sorry, the view handler here is slightly different because originally I would open a bar chart, I would open a pie chart, and then I would open text chart with methods similar to this. But now I just open the pane, the tab pane, which in turn will initialize the uh, three. Uh, charts here as tab content so it wasn't too much work to uh, reorganize everything and put it into a tab pane um, I think that's all there is to say about it the most important thing is to um, remember this part you use the include you have to match precisely the name of the variable I have also named my classes to match, but I don't, sorry, the pie chart view controller and the ID here will be pie chart view and automatically controller is appended. But I don't know if you need to actually name it like this. I don't think so. I think this one just have to match the variable name here. And then you say, which fxml file is it actually you want to load and you give it the path relative to where the fxml file here is located so this one is the starting point and then you need to navigate to the others so that is all there is to it thanks for watching i hope it can help you